Hello everybody, it's Murray here and welcome to another acrylic painting tutorial. I thought it's the time of year for Diwali and I thought I would do a lovely festival of lights painting with this gorgeous silhouette scene of this lady dancing all the lights and the fireworks behind her. So it's a really easy scene, we're going to learn it together, so let's get into it. Now the colours you're going to need for today's tutorial are black, red, yellow, orange and white. We're going to use different versions of these tones but all the tones we use today can be made from these core colours. Now I have a 30 by 20 centimetre canvas that all I've done is painted black but you can just use black paper or you can just paint paper black. It's totally up to you. So for Diwali I've decided to paint a lady dancing and all I've done is I've drawn with chalk a little silhouette of a lady who's dancing and I've just got two lines roughly where I'm going to put the main part of the light source. So if you want to pause the tutorial now and just jot down a rough outline of where you would like the lady to be and just copy my outline here of the lady dancing. Now as always we've just got different tones, I haven't pre-mixed but they are mainly orange, red, white and black. Now to get crimson all you need to do is make red and black and to get these different shades of yellow all you've got to do is just add some white to the mix, just different forms of white and to get yellow okra, or okra all you've got to do is add a little bit of yellow and black together, a tiny bit of orange and you get this kind of gold tone. So all the cool colours at the beginning, just black, red, yellow, orange and white, you can use to make these colours. So away we go. So we're going to take some red and some black to make that crimson colour. And we're going to just add a little bit of the yellow okra, which is just yellow and a tiny bit of black. So really just red, a bit of black and a bit of yellow. And that's going to create this lovely burgundy tone. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to create the heat if you imagine a light source and it's shining into the darkness, things like when we did the uh, pumpkin video the other day for Halloween, it's the same sort of premise. What we're going to do is we're going to try to create sort of the heat around our dancing lady. And all we're doing is we're going to take this burgundy tone and we're just going to let the paint run off our brush and blend it gently into the black background. So we want it sort of fading away. So we'll look a bit of red bit of black and a bit of dark yellow till we get this lovely burgundy colour and all that is as I keep saying to you it's the light source of the heat we're going to put the just like always and then we're going to put the highlights over the top and then we're going to neaten it up and don't worry if your paint always looks scruffy in the beginning it always will look scruffy we're just blocking it in so all we're doing is we're just adding heat to our black background and just going around that lady the reason I've got just a bit in the middle is because we're going to have the brightest parts there. So I've just done a little outline so I know where the brightest sparks and light source is all going to be from our fireworks and our light source. So all I'm doing is I'm just tipping my paintbrush sideways and I'm just blending it into the black background. So I want to add a bit more black and I want to make that transition just into the black background a little bit easier. So all I'm doing is just blending it in, letting the paint just run out and blend it into the black background. Very easy blending technique. Okay, so now we're going to lighten it up a bit. So we're going to add some orange and we're going to add a little bit of red to that dark mix. So all I'm doing is just mixing some dark red, some black and some orange. And as I say, look, now we're just starting to get brighter. And because we've already laid that darker tone, we're just blending it into the tone. So all we're doing, we're just having the heat source around the ladies, so nearer to the ladies where it's going to be really, really bright. And because she's going to be a silhouette, it's going to make her pop more and make her look better against the dark background. By having light around her, it's going to make her really stand out. So all we're doing, look, we're just blending it into the tone we've already laid down. And we're just going to add some dark yellow to the mix so all that was was a golden -y tone and we're just doing the same thing we're just heating it up remember what I keep telling you yellows and oranges and reds heat source heats the area up so it's the heat source from the light so all we're doing like we're just blending it in together 
So it's a really good video to work on your blending. So look, all I'm doing is I'm just having the paintbrush sideways. I'm just blending the tones together. I've got very little paint on my brush. I'm just blending the tones to try to create the illusion of the heat source getting, fading off into the darkness. And then I said in the previous acrylic painting tutorials, that if you lay the foundations first, so if we do all the darker tones, like these reds and oranges, and then we're gonna put the highlights, the yellows and the whites, of all the light source over the top, what it does is it really shines through and it really, really creates the illusion of a 3D effect. So look, all I'm doing is I'm going around with that sort of orangey burgundy tone and mixing it into the burgundy. It's already starting to look like it's bright. Now all I'm doing is I'm just creating a background sort of uh, the floor. So I'm just gonna add some yellow to that, to that mix. And I'm just gonna just lighten that area around my lady's feet. And I've gone a bit too far here, so all I'm gonna do is get some black and I'm just gonna darken that area up because that's where my signature is gonna be. So I want that corner to be nice and dark. Now we're gonna take some bright yellow and we're just gonna mix that into the mix. And we're gonna go right around our lady. And as I say, Many, many times, because we're painting over a dark tone, be it black or burnt sienna in the previous videos, you might have to do two coats, so we'll probably do that later. But what we're trying to do is we're trying to create a really, really bright light source. So first we're going to put on bright yellow. So we're going to cover mainly all this up with our lights, all our fireworks and light sources. In Diwali, there's, it's a festival of lights, so there's lights everywhere. But we want to create a shadow tone first, so those bright lights stand up. So stand out. Sorry. So what we're going to do is we're going to just do bright yellow all around our lady. And as I say, don't worry if you go over her outline. We're going to neaten her up last, just like all the other painting tutorials with the silhouettes that we did previously with the couple and the dolphins. We'll just neaten them up at the end. So don't worry if you go around them. What we're trying to do is just create the illusion of smoke and detail. All the sort of Diwali fireworks give off give off uh, smoke and that sort of misty air. So what we're trying to do is try to create the light uh, sort of refracting into that air and creating all the smoke and all the fireworks and all the candles and all the lights. So all I'm doing is I'm just taking very little paint. I've got a dry brush and I'm just trying to create shapes and texture. All this extra detail is going to be things when we add all the sort of lights afterwards it's going to look like all the smoke and all the mist sort of refracting in the air so now what we're going to do is we're going to take some white and yellow and we're going to create a very very bright white and yellow mix so a kind of Naples yellow so a very very bright tone and again, we're just going to go around the top half of our painting and around the lady's arm. So as I say, we'll probably have to do a couple of coats just to make it bright, to make it stand out, because obviously the black paint from underneath is going to shine through. So that's to be expected. So when you're painting it, don't worry if it looks messy or it's a bit streaky. That's quite normal. So by using a really bright tone like this yellowy white, what we're doing is we're really outlining our lovely Diwali lady. And what that's going to do is going to really make her stand out against the background. By brightening up the um, area which she's um, standing next to, what it's going to do is going to have a really, really good polarity, a really, really good composition where she really um, stands out against the background because it's much lighter and obviously she's a darker silhouette. So all I'm doing is I'm just doing little streams. When fireworks fire off into the air, they create these little streams that sort of float down. All the sort of um, burning bits of paper and things like that, they sort of leave these sort of little streamers that come down from the sky. So all I'm doing is I'm just letting the brush do the work. I'm letting all the paint sort of run off it and I'm just smearing it into the canvas just to get these sort of chalky feel onto my canvas so it looks like smoke and detail of all these bits. As I say, it's all just added detail so when you put all the detail and the highlights over the top, it just all comes together. 
So as I say, if you have to go over it once or twice to make the brightness of the paint of the tone stand out, that's quite normal, don't worry. And as I say, even at this stage, it looks very, very rough. Most paintings don't come all together to the very last bit. So it's almost like playing poker or something. You kind of have to have confidence in yourself and you have to kind of have belief because right at the end is where it's all going to come together. So you've just got to trust yourself and just work through it. And then at the end, just stage by stage, it will all come together and it will work out. You just got to keep with it and you just got to keep going. Now we're going to dry your work because we are just going to do an extra layer. So all we've got is a little bit of yellow and lots and lots of white to create a really off-white bright tone. So it's just white with a dab of yellow and we're just going to go around our lady because I really want to have a polarity, a, have her really bright and dark but have a really bright background. So these are going to be the real bit of the light source just from yellow and white. So all we're doing is we're just going around our lady. And as I say, don't worry if she's a bit lopsided or a bit uh, rough. We're gonna we're gonna neaten her up at the end. So all I'm doing is just going round her and leaving a bit of that yellowy tone because I want a nice sort of fade where the light source is fading into the darker tones. So that yellow tone that we used before previously, I'm just going over it and blend it into that tone because I just want it brighter. I just want it to look much, much brighter than it was previously. And as I say before, if you're ever painting with acrylic, sometimes you've got to do one or two layers. I know a lot of tutorials that people watch, they're, sh they're not showing that. They're showing just everything's excellent on the first time. Well, that's not really the case sometimes with art. You've got to sort of work your way through it. You learn through mistakes. You learn through doing layers. So just going around it with this yellow, what they're kind of doing is just sort of darkening the light as it fades off into the background. So it's giving that bright light an edge. And as I say, because the background is so bright now, it's making her stand out. So it's already making her look more prominent in our painting. And because she's in the middle, it's getting everyone's eyes to focus right down the middle because we've got nice dark corners like I keep teaching. So all I'm doing, look, I'm just with hardly any paint, I'm just doing these sort of streamers coming from the fireworks, from the smoke, just sort of coming down towards the floor. Now we're going to take some of that tone again and we're just going to go over it. We're just going to brighten it up. So say it's just all blending. It's all about just finding your way and just taking your time. You'll know where you have to rework things because it's a bit streaky. And you just want to go over it a few times just to make it look brighter. That's quite normal, as I say. So please, everyone, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe this video. Um, as I'm just growing on YouTube, I've been on Instagram for about two, three years now, but I've just started to do these painting tutorials regularly on YouTube. So I'm gonna do one every single week um, from now on. So please like and subscribe so we can get these painting tutorials to as many artists out there. And I'm gonna do lots of videos on art tips as well to help people. So all I've got is some red and some black to make a warm a warm black just slightly off black with a little bit of red into it and we're just going to paint our lady back in so what we're doing is by using that dark tone we're just trying to get a clear border between her and the background so by using a dark tone what we're trying to do is just give a nice composition between her and the background So I'm just drawing in her fingers and her hand. Let's say if you make a mistake, you can always just use the lighter tone to touch her up and, and go over bits and bobs. So again, we're just trying to block her in, just so we've got a clear guide and a clear um, border between her and the background. So just painting her dress. Just add in some little bit of detail, a little bit of that could be her hair coming around. Now if you make a mistake, don't worry because you can always dry it. You can always use the brighter tone to um, fill in gaps. 
So if you do anything like uh, in a minute, I give her, I was trying to paint her hand, which is upside down. It kind of made this mangled claw-like thing. She looks like she's got like a, a, an animal hand for some reason. So just by getting a lighter tone or just waiting for it to dry and then using a wipe or just painting over it really, you can just correct things. So never worry if you make a mistake, never worry if you do anything that doesn't quite look right. There's nothing you can't fix. You can just paint over it, that's the joy of painting. So as I say, if you make any mistakes, just use the lighter tone just to go around it and outline it, it's no bother. And then just use the dark tone to repaint over it. No problem, easy peasy. And it really helps if you have a bit of a skinny brush, like a fine liner. Just do little bits of detail. And as I say, you can always go really super detailed in all your work. You can always use, say, like a really super fine, thin brush and do that. Now this is the fun bit. We're going to do all the circle lights to make the illusion of the lights and the fireworks in Diwali. So we're going to take some yellow and white to create these bright lights. And we're just going to do little sort of circles. So all we're doing is we're just giving the illusion of little circles. And we're going to just create circles really easy circles just by adding a little bit more white to the mix sort of bean shapes anyone who likes beans it's kind of like a squash circle so what I'm doing is just making little sort of bean shapes with that color and what that is is when you have lights from far away when people take photography take photos you have this sort of light refracting and it gives these lovely little sort of circles in the light. So all the fireworks and the candles and all the festival of lights of Diwali, what we're trying to do is recreate that. And because we've got our background and we've got our sort of streams and we've got our smoky refracting D background, by adding these highlights on top, what it's gonna do is gonna trick your eye and it's gonna make it look really real and like a 3D effect, but it's a super easy tutorial. So it's this easy acrylic tutorial, but it's going to give the effect that it looks really realistic, which is what we want. Something really, really easy with hardly any work. So all I'm doing is I'm just adding really small ones around the lady because that's where all the sort of fireworks are sort of bursting into the background. And what I'm doing is I'm just creating the larger sort of bean shapes around so it looks like all that sort of sparks and bits and bobs of all the fireworks and the candles and all the light just sort of and just like always you might have to do two coats on your beans just to make them look really nice and bright by just going over them once or twice but we'll do that later but we're just trying to go around and because we've got the background a bit darker because we've got that darker yellow when we're adding this much brighter tone which is just white and yellow of course it's standing out because we haven't gone too light in the background so we've still got a darker background so these highlights really stand out so that's what he's saying to you you want to have the shadows on first just so we have this really really nice bright bright effect of sparks and lights in the background so I'm just gonna add a little bit more yellow to the mix we're just gonna create some yellow beans so yellow and white just a little bit darker a little bit more yellow and we're gonna create yellow beans so it's a really easy technique just create tiny little circles and then bigger bean sort of shapes and we just want to randomly have them sort of sparking off and what that's going to kind of look like from afar is like fireworks and candles and lights excellent so again just do a mixture between the white and yellow and just add a little bit yellow to make it darker for darker beans and then a bit more white for lighter beans and as I say we're just creating these sparks coming from the top all around our dancing lady so it's super easy to do nothing hard at all and already it's starting to take real shape it's already starting to look really pretty already it's so easy 
super, super easy. Anyone can do this. just have a mixture between the two tones and again we're just having just some streams come down just where that light is sort of refracting where that sort of smoke and sort of sparks sort of s smoky sort of ash is falling into from the sky behind her so what I'm doing look, I'm just using that sort of really light yellow hardly any paint on my brush and I'm just creating sort of streams coming from around her Again, just to make it look more 3D. So if you have to go over your circles, just to make them look more prominent and make them look more bright, just use the same tone and just go over them again just so they stand out more. And as I say, just add more white, just pure white to certain circles just to make them look really sharp and make them look really, really bright. So just pure white for certain circles. And what that does, again, just by having a darker background, having the off white with the yellow and the white, by creating circles and leaving some of the background to shine through and around it, what it's doing is it's creating texture. So again, once you take a step back or two from this picture, it will look very, very realistic because from afar, it will trick your eyes and it will make it look really, really real. So look, just adding bright white to certain ones. It's just having the light really hit those sort of beans. <laughs> I love the beans. <laughs> So just keep creating circles, just keep going around. It's a little time consuming, but it's, it's not hard at all. All you've got to do is just create little circles. Really, really easy. And what that's doing is just tricking your eye. So just go around the painting. Now we're going to add some heat. So we're going to use some red and we're just going to add a little bit of white and a little bit of yellow to the mix. And we're going to do some red beans and some red circles. And again, that's just where the light is refracting. So when someone takes a photo or when your eye sees something, the nice red heat, all the sparks and stuff are catching the, the light. And what it does is again, it just makes it a little bit 3D a little bit more realistic so what I'm doing I'm just adding a little bit of heat to the floor and it's creating some red beans and they could be sort of the sparks and the lights sort of hitting the floor around our dancing lady there's my dog's bum in the background <laughs> my lovely wife and dog decided to come and join us when I was filming <laughs> oh sorry about that So look, just by smearing it, we're just trying to create that sort of refracting in the air, sort of the light effect. So all it is is just a tiny bit of red, lots of white, and a little bit of yellow, just to make a really sort of pastel pinky red. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the same tone, and we're just going to go around her hands. So I'm just going to add a little bit of black to it to make it a bit more crimson. So we're going to have sort of a dark, so lots of red and a little bit of black to get a nice sort of crimson colour like we did with the background at the beginning. And what this is, is because this area of her body is right in the light source, it's right in the bright um, of the sparks of all the lights of Diwali, it's going to be getting the most heat. So by creating this sort of light going around the edge of her body, sort of around her back, 
around her um, upper arm and her hands and her hair what it's doing is it's making it look again more realistic by just using that heat to make the picture look a little bit more 3d so again if you just think of anything if you're painting anything like a sunset or anything like that if you have a tree for example or anything in the the foreground by just using things like reds orange and yellows you can make them look brighter and you can give them a bit of heat a bit of lens flare just to make your work look more realistic now i'm just going to take some black on the opposite side and i'm just going to go around sort of her elbow and sort of bottom of her dress because that's going to be closest to the camera and closest to our viewers and it just again just gives a nice outline of her so again like anything if she's a bit dry you can dry with a hair dryer you can just wait you can just go over the areas just to make it a little bit more brighter so I'm just using the exact same tone I'm just going over it for the second time just to make that area just look a little bit more heated a bit more bright so all it was is the burgundy color that we used at the beginning and I'm just doing some little bits of detail like streams of her hair and because it's hitting that light source and just the edge of her body and the edge of her arm it will look much brighter and what it does it just gives it a little bit more nicer touch and again just if you've got to go over your beans and you've got to go over areas using the white or the same tones the light yellow or the pink just rework it just make it look brighter by just going over the top just make it look more standout-ish so that's the thing with acrylics they're a lot easier than th things like oils but sometimes you just have to go over them once or twice because they're not as bright they're not as pungent as oils so they're much more forgiving they're much easier to start with but sometimes you just got to go over them once or twice because they're a bit flat and sometimes you need to do two coats just to make things bright so look by just going over them just be really patient you think this tutorial is what half an hour it's not hard but if you had to spend an hour just going over the top just by painting your blacks once or twice to make them look darker and your lights just two tone two coats just so they're brighter it's not a hardship it's really easy look. so just creating more of these little red beans and what that's doing now look it's really tricking your eye to make it look like a really nice 3d effect by just going around creating little circles wow so pretty so easy so like always i'm always jumping up and i'm just getting a view from a few feet away i'm just touching up her mangled hand that i made <laughs> it's hard to paint a hand that's going upside down you know so really um as i say add some red just right red just in places and on the very top of her hairline and on things like her hair and what that does is that really emphasizes the heat of that sort of sparks behind her that sort of fireworks and light show behind her and again what it does is it just gives it that 3d effect so same on her hand and on that sort of nearest ridge which is hitting that light source so just by using the red using some heat if you think of a flame what that's doing is mixing that into some burgundy what that's doing is just creating real heat on her head and on her body to make it look more 3d and make it look more realistic and as i say super easy you already had the black outline and all you've done is just added some burgundy and then a little bit of brighter red so not hard at all there's hardly any detail it's all a trick of the eye using tones so hopefully what you're doing with all these painting tutorials is you're learning all these tips and tricks and you're applying them to scenes and to pictures and to your own work so that's the whole great thing about being an artist is taking the teachings that I'm giving you and hopefully applying it to your work 
So she's nearly done. I'm just taking some jet black and I'm just going around the edges that aren't getting the light because I just want to make them just a bit more prominent. And sometimes with acrylics, they dry a bit flat, but if you varnish them, they will go back to their original sort of brightness. So I think she's pretty much done. I think she looks fantastic. I think that is such an easy display and I'm really, really happy with her. So I'm going to take a photo. So let's have a look what she looks like photographed. So wow, really, really pretty, really, really easy. That heat with the red really, really emphasizes the point and makes her look super pretty. And it gives that that 3D effect that we're looking for. And it's such an easy tutorial. So look, brilliant, super easy tutorial. I really, really hope you've liked it. I really, really hope you have a fantastic Diwali. All of my Indian followers who follow me, Thank you very much for the support. So please like and subscribe if you haven't already. I have plenty of painting tutorials and as I say, I'm going to be adding lots of painting tutorials and lots of art tips and tricks videos for you guys every single week from now on. So thank you very much. This is Murray signing off. So take care. Have a nice night. See you later and bye.